everybody and welcome back to another wonderful Wednesday video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So over the past few weeks we have been looking at this series of these different words that we maybe read in the Bible or we hear at church. Words that maybe even we use often but we don't always understand exactly what they mean. And this week in our 9.30 live stream we thought all about this word kingdom and you can go back and watch that if you haven't already. So we're thinking about this word kingdom and we're thinking about the kingdom of God. Now in the 9.30 service we said that a kingdom is a place or area where a person or group of people rule over. And you might have learned about kingdoms or kings and queens at school before. But then we thought about what is God's kingdom and where is God's kingdom? And we said that God's kingdom isn't really in a specific place, but how God's kingdom is where he rules over our lives. So it's all about putting God first above all other things. It's when we make God number one in our life. Now over the past few weeks, we've been looking at other verses and we've been thinking about the Bible verse in Ephesians where it says that it is by grace that we have been saved through having faith. So we are saved by God's grace and that means we can be best friends with him again because Jesus took our place on the cross. And this can happen for us when we have faith in God, when we believe in God. So if we have faith, we know we're saved by grace, then we can be part of God's kingdom. And being part of God's kingdom is all about putting him first in our lives. And it's all about making God number one above any other things. And we thought about this on Sunday and we said how, you know, we can still have hobbies and we can still have friends and we still wanna concentrate on school, but actually none of those things are more important than God. What God wants for us is the most important thing and following his way for our lives is the most important thing to do. So this can be things that he tells us to do in the Bible or this could be things that he tells us to do personally when we have quiet time with him. There's another story in the Bible that tells us about God's kingdom. And it says that God's kingdom is like finding special treasure. So I'm gonna read us this story. It's from my favorite, the Jesus Storybook Bible. And it's on page 250 if you have this book and it's called Treasure Hunt. But you can also find this story in your grown up Bible in Matthew chapter 13. But I'm gonna read this one for us now. One day, Jesus was telling people about God's kingdom. God's kingdom was wherever God is king, Jesus told them. It's wherever God is in charge. It's where he fills your heart up with his forever happiness and you stop running away from him and you love him. But sometimes people couldn't understand things very well. So Jesus helped them by telling them stories called parables. Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a hidden treasure. And then he told them this story. Once upon a time, there was a man working in a field, digging. So there he is digging. But what he doesn't know is that in that field, there is buried treasure. So dig, 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 clink, clank, clonk. Uh-oh, his shovel bumps into something hard. Hello, what's this? He picks it up, dusts it off. It's a chest. It's rusted and locked, but creak. He pries it open. What he sees inside takes his breath away. Beautiful, glittering, gleaming, twinkling, sparkling, precious jewels. It's a treasure chest. He wants that treasure. He needs to get that treasure. He must have that treasure somehow. Even if he has to sell everything he has so he can pay for it. He quickly buries the treasure again, runs home and sells everything he has. He takes the money from the sale and goes and buys that field. Now he owns the field 
and the treasure that is buried in it. He runs back and digs up the treasure again. Jesus said, coming home to God is as wonderful as finding treasure. You might have to dig before you find it. You might have to look before you see it. You might even have to give up everything you have to get it. But being where God is, being in his kingdom, that's more important than anything else in all the world. It's worth anything you have to give up, Jesus told them. Because God is the real treasure. God had a treasure too, of course. A treasure that was lost long, long ago. What was God's treasure? His most important thing? The thing God, God loved best in all the world? God's treasure was his children. It was why Jesus had come into the world to find God's treasure and pay the price to win them back. And Jesus would do it, even if it cost him everything he had. So there we go. Being part of God's kingdom, putting God first in your life, it's like finding treasure. Because when we're best friends with God, when we spend time with him, when we put him first, we know we can trust him, we know we can have faith in him like we thought about a few weeks ago, and we know that ultimately we are saved by that grace, and that one day we get to go to heaven to be with him forever. And that is what being part of God's kingdom is all about. And we should want to spread this kingdom and show it to others and tell other people all about this kingdom. On Sunday, we thought about how the kingdom of God is described as a mustard seed. And we thought about this a few weeks ago too. And we remember how teeny, teeny, tiny a mustard seed is. But the Bible says that this mustard seed grows and grows and grows into a massive tree. And it's the same with God's kingdom. We should want to tell other people about this amazing news. We should want to tell other people about God's grace and about his kingdom. And then his kingdom will grow and grow and grow. So my task for you this week is to have a think in your head about how you might spread God's kingdom. Maybe you can tell someone about God's kingdom. Maybe a friend, you could talk to them all about Jesus. Maybe you could draw a poster or write a letter to give to someone explaining all about God's kingdom. Or maybe you can spread the kingdom of God in the way that you act and behave. Maybe you can do something kind for someone, even though they didn't do anything kind for you first, even though you maybe don't think they deserve it. Maybe you can spread God's kingdom this week. And so I want you to have a think about how you might be able to do that. And hopefully you can do that this week. So I will see you guys next time and I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye everybody.